today we are doing a little project called Hello World, which is the first programming project that everybody always does. To do that, I'm going to open up Notepad, because as I mentioned to you last week, or not last week, on Tuesday, it doesn't take very much to be able to create a Java-based application. All you need is something like Notepad or WordPad or any kind of word processor, and you can create very basic applications. The only thing, there are a few restrictions, and I'm going to go over the, that as we're creating this Hello World project. So, I've opened up Notepad. We're ready to get started. And I'm going to redo this project in a few minutes inside Eclipse so you can see the difference of how easy it is and things like that. And first thing we're going to do on line one is do our public declaration and tell it what we're working with, which is basically to say we've got a public class, and you're going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it Hello World. And cap capitalization does count. Okay? And then I will, underneath that, I'm going to put a curly bracket, and then I'm going to tab over and give the next uh, command line, which in this case is to declare the main method. For all applications and everything that we create this semester in this class, you're always going to have this set of lines. You're going to have public, static, void, main, and this is all lowercase, left parenthesis, then capital S for string, left bracket, right bracket, A-R-G-S for arguments, right bracket, or not right bracket, right parenthesis. And I think, well, let me see if I can make this a little larger for your viewing pleasure for readability. Does that help any? A little bit more viewable there? Let's go on up a little bigger. There. That should be a little more readable to everybody. Now, I am tabbing in each time so that th this is just a general formatting thing that we do to make our programs more readable. So now I've got my public static void main with string arguments. You'll get used to seeing that on everything. And then I'm going to tell it the command to print something out. And that's going to be system with cas capital S dot out dot print line and then left parenthesis and hello world and then right parenthesis semicolon as I said you'll get used to seeing semicolons and come to hate them greatly so there's my hello world then I'm going to tab over and put a right bracket which is a closed bracket. That means this procedure, this function, is now complete. When I call main, it's going to execute whatever command lines are between the first bracket and the last bracket. And that is considered the main routine. And then I'm, go I'm going to press enter again and put another right curly bracket to close the class of hello world. So we've got two sets of brackets. If I'm referencing hello world, then that's going to include all of this. If I'm re referencing just the main routine of hello world, that's referencing this. So you need to understand the class is all of it, which right now you're thinking, so what? Because what's the difference between that and what's just in main? As we develop more, more uh, in-depth applications, it's going to become much more complex, and we'll have a lot of these routines throughout the program. We won't have just a main. We'll have 20 or 30 of these, but they'll all still be underneath one class. And then about midterms, we're going to start adding more classes just to make it more fun, because we wouldn't want to get bored with any of this. Okay. Does that all make sense so far? Okay. Next thing we got to do is save this. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and I'm going to save this because of I know what's coming next. I'm going to save it to my root 
of my C drive. Normally I would say never save anything to the root of your C drive, but because to make this com compilation easier, to run the program much easier, we're going to go to the root of the C drive to make our life much easier. And I'm going to name it Hello World, it's spelled exactly the same as what I spelled it up here in my public class declaration. So I got hello world dot java. Okay? And that you don't need any quotation marks or anything. Just hello world dot java. And it will save this as a text document. Okay? It is now saved. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm done with that part. And I'm going to run a and I'm going to go in here to my run and do a command to get a command prompt. And let's make life a little easier before we do that. You can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to find where my Java JDK is first. So uh, that should be under C drive. Let's see, program files, Java, and look at all the different JDKs I've got there. Uh, this is currently 6. No, that's J that's not what I want. I want the JDK 5.05, .05, I think. And then underneath the JDK is all the basic information. Then is all the binary or executable files. So in here, I should see a Java C. Yeah, right here, Java C. That's my compiler. So I'm going to need to run that in just a few minutes. Okay, I may have to type it in. No. C colon backslash program file. Whoops. Do it exactly. Java JDK. And this may not work exactly right. I may have to put some modifications to this. 05 backslash bin backslash java c space. <laughs> then I'm going to put in hello world java. Because you got to tell it what you want it to compile. Now this is how we used to have to do things. We didn't just simply click on a button and it magically became an executable program. In the old days, and I mean the 80s, we had to type in the command, compile it, make it into an object file, and then make it into an executable. This will turn it into bytecode, which if you've been reading chapter one, you know that bytecode is the compiled version of Java so that the JDK can then run it. It runs the bytecode. It makes it into an executable format. In theory, oops, I don't need a Java C at the end there. In theory, when I press the enter key now, it will compile. Now, I may have made a mistake. I may need to put quotation marks around this because I use the long format of directories. And sometimes it doesn't like that. So I'm going to try it. No, it didn't like that. So what we have to do is put quotation because it didn't like it, I'm going to do the old DOS format trick, which is something that's valuable for you to learn. Actually, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't work, because I wanted to show you how to do this anyhow. If you get on a system and you're forced into DOS prompt, and you're dealing with long file names and long directory names, which is very common in anything that's been created since Windows 95, you can do this little trick. C colon backslash capitalize P R O G R is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, tilde one. That stands for program files. Backslash Java. Backslash 